What's up guys and happy Monday. Welcome to another IGTV video. So this week I'm doing something different. I'm actually doing one video every day for this whole week. And I, the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm launching something really exciting at the end of this week and I want to tell you guys more about it and um, just kind of get you involved in where I've been. Um, I've been kind of like here and there, like a little absent from time to time. And it's because I've been working on this project that I am so, so excited for. So it actually involves tarot. And I wanted to talk about this first a little bit because you may be wondering like, where did this come from? Like, I don't really know her for tarot. She doesn't really do tarot or talk about it much on her Instagram. And some of you who follow me might not really be familiar with tarot as well. So I actually wanted to talk to a a little bit about that. Um, so I've actually been using tarot and actually working with this same deck for the last couple of years. Um, so it's been in my vlogs here and there, but I haven't really shared it much in relation to my work and in relation to everything that I do, but that is actually what I've been kind of working on and crafting. And so why I'm here on IGTV is actually to um, bring you in into my world of how I pull self-worth and self-worth coaching and tarot together and um, This week I just wanted to do a daily card poll for you guys and just kind of get you Motivated get you thinking about a particular message um, for the day I've already cleansed this deck so it's ready for a collective pull and really I've just kind of I'm just kind of asking the deck and asking all of our collective angels and guides what message we need to hear today about self-worth you know what does the collective need to know and what Ooh, this card actually these two cards just flew out so I might oh it's three cards okay three cards just flew out I was gonna do this as a one card pull but if these cards want to be heard we will give them the space to be heard so the Queen of Swords is the first one that we pulled and it really speaks to confidence, it speaks to strategy, ambition, kind of knowing where you're going, um, having a direct kind of clear path ahead of you and really focusing on what your beliefs are. Um, interesting, so we got the reverse nine of cups. This really speaks to the ego, potentially speaks to excess or selfishness and um, how that might be kind of off balance for us. We might be focused too much on what people think of us on the outside or just kind of on more superficial things um, or maybe even material possessions more than you know our healing process. And so it's kind of pulling us back in and saying, okay, don't get you know caught up in the consum consumerism, like really pare back what you think you need and ask yourself why you think you need those things. Or even if you consciously know that you want them, ask yourself if you're always wanting, ask yourself why. Um, because it's okay to treat yourself, it's okay to want things from time to time, but when you're really getting your message and your motivation and all of your kind of determination is just coming out of this place from like, I need that, I want that, that kind of energy, then it's kind of, that's also kind of synonymous with like a scarcity mindset, interestingly enough. So if you're saying, you know, I want this X, Y, and Z, or I want people to think of me this way, like you're constantly focusing on what you don't have, what you could have, how things could be better. And so behind all of those thoughts, you're kind of saying, well, things aren't good enough right now. Things aren't good enough as they are. And so I constantly need to be on the search for something better. And you can have goals and also appreciate where you are in the current in your current stage, in your current process, you know what I mean? And the last card that we got, ooh, is the reverse justice card. And this card is really interesting because it's a major arcana card and we're also seeing it in reverse. So we're seeing kind of things being off balance. We need, we have kind of like a collective pull to justice. There's a lot of things going on. I mean, obviously it's election year, we're gearing right up to it. Like there's so much happening with the virus, with the pandemic, with the economy, things are just all over the place. And so it's kind of saying that there's this restorative balance that needs to be done. And actually now seeing this all together, this Queen of Swords is also a really interesting um, card because it's kind of the only, first of all, it's the only upright card. And it's kind of pushing us to use our strategy, to use our intelligence, to use our ability to mobilize, to use our ability to vote, to use our ability to kind of speak up for wherever we are, to use what we consciously know is right and wrong, to kind of amend these things. So it's almost saying like on a personal level, we all have kind of issues with 
our sense of ego, with maybe our sense of pride, with maybe even asking for help on our journeys. And so we feel kind of off balance or we might kind of lean to emotions like jealousy and envy to kind of help us through or almost as coping mechanisms. Because if you can be jealous of someone and kind of bitter towards them, even if it's a person online, then you don't have to look at your own life and admit that something isn't making you happy. You're kind of able to put that off. And so it's saying like, on almost an individual level, we've been doing that collectively, but then also as a collective level, as a society, there's obviously such a need for justice, such a need for things to be balanced and things to be right again. Um, and wow, I actually find this really powerful. So I think what we can kind of take away from this is, A, where am I leaning into scarcity? Where do I feel like I am, you know, constantly needing more, constantly needing better, constantly needing upgrades? And why? Where is that need coming from? Are there areas of your life that you are leaning into scarcity? What habits and what shape do they take? Like, how does that actually look in your day to day life? What habits do you do? What, um, purchases do you make you know what are things that you feel like in your day-to-day -day life you could change or could at least signify to you okay this is when I'm kind of off balance so that's kind of the first question that comes out of this and the second is also you know how how can we really use this time use what we have to make the biggest difference how can we step up in our own ways in our own community and this is just so interesting because i wasn't expecting this message to come out at all but this is so like strong and so direct um so really you know are you registered to vote do you have everything that you need um in order to make a difference this election year um are you registered and are you planning on voting in your local elections um are there other things that you can do are there candidates or nonprofits or things like that that you can give your um, finances to? How can you step up and what does stepping up look like for you? And um, I know we all are registering to vote. That's super important, especially if you haven't already. But if you have, then also ask yourself, you know, what more can I do? Like, yes, that's the bare minimum. Yes, you're going to vote. Yes, you're going to stay informed. But what else can you do in your area, in your local community? Um, so, wow, that was a really powerful and unexpected message, like I said. Um, but those are the messages, I guess, that I have to give to you today. So definitely leave a comment below if you have any other thoughts or questions or even an additional interpretation to add to this. Um, I'm so excited to hear from you and I'll see you guys tomorrow.